Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see the top 5 open source statistical software and a tool which you can use it for free. So open source means what? It's free for use. Yes. So we are going to see that first. So before going into that, let us understand what is a statistical analysis software. The software which is capable of integrating, interpreting and analyzing a massive amount of data in a statistical framework. So what are the various statistical framework like uh, what are the various statistics inferences we, we would like to do in almost all our data set. So it might be the correlational. So for example, correlational means we can do go ahead with a Pearson, Spearman or chi square. And if you want to compare the means, like we can do a parity test, an independent t test, and ANOVA. If you want to do the regression, we can go with a simple and multiple regression. And if you want to go ahead with a non parametric, then we can go ahead with a Wilcoxon, Ransom, Wilcoxon, Sign Rank, and Sign Test. So these are all the typical statistical tests we have. And apart from this, we have also other set tests as well. Why you need a statistical analysis software? Because now we are drowned with the data. We are surrounded by data and we are starving to insight, to find some insights in the data. Because we are dealing with a large amount of data, nearly it may it might be more than 1000 records or uh, 50,000 records. So we cannot go and check every individual records and uh, find the statistical inferences on that same. So that is why we need these softwares and we cannot afford, we cannot buy almost all the softwares like. So I'm going to discuss about the top five open source software, which that is a tool which you can download it for free and use it whenever you want. Okay, so the very first software or the tool which you're going to discuss is JASP. So JASP is a statistical software which you can simply download and install it. In the upcoming videos, we will see how to download and install JASP. And if you want to learn how to work with JASP, you can just leave the comment. I'll definitely help you out. So what are the features of the JASP? Okay. So JASP, what is the, what is the name of the JASP? So why that JASP comes into, like this is Jeffrey's amazing statistic program, which is an open source program. Okay, the features are you can do Bayesian analysis, support APA format and uh, ANCOA, audit, ANOVA, exploratory factor analysis, mediation analysis, multinomial, binomial test, T test, linear regression, logistic regression. You can do everything. Okay, so that is what JASP. So if you want to download it, you can click here and download JASP. So this is the link for JASP. Okay, so for this, you have some uh, teaching link as well. Like if you want to learn, you can just click here and, and learn about JASP and how to work in it. So the next tool which you're going to see is SOFA. SOFA is also a statistical tool, which is you can download uh, for free. So this is available for three various operating system. One is Windows, Mac and Ubuntu. Okay, you can download and install it. If you want to learn more about it, you can also see what are the videos. Okay, the video. So this is perfectly useful for the researcher, student, data analyst. So you can try this and see how it works. Okay, and the next one which you are going to see is Scilab. Okay, Scilab is also a software which if you want to do some statistical analysis, you can download and see. You can do numerical data visualization, algos development, like if you want to develop an algorithm, you can just do that and you can also go with an app development. So if you want to download it, you can simply click here download and based on the system requirements, you can download it. So be sure that which operating system that is a which bits you are using, whether if you are using a 64 bit or a 32 bit, because this should not cause any issues in that okay so if you are using a linux operating system you can also go ahead with a linux or else if you are using a mac os you can download and install mac okay so here they have provided the tutorials if you want to go ahead with the tutorial you can click here and understand how to do this 
okay so next is we are going to talk about pspp which is a statistical analysis day, uh, tool where you can download it for free here you have the download option and uh, it will show you what are all the various features of pspp okay and the documentation is also available so documentation will tell you like what are all the various tutorials you have and how you can use the tool as well so click here download to download the pspp tool and once you have downloaded so here you have that what are the various versions you have so the pspp is not available for windows because they are just working on it so it is available for mac os you can just go ahead with the mac os okay if you are using mac os if you are a windows user you can directly go with the jazz because this is very user friendly and uh, the gui is perfect okay and the next one is this jamo v okay jamo v it's a statistical open source tool so this is basically integrated with r it is also don't worry that since it is showing that r it is not that you have to you have to uh, use uh, um programming language that it you, it's not it's not required so you can also this is like a gui based okay so it is like a tool simply open up the tool and you can use it so that is what the uniqueness of g that is a jam movie so since it's showing like it is an integration of r okay so you can uh, use it and uh, it is also a open source okay so just see the links so you have jamovi pspp scilab sofa and jasp so first i think you can go ahead you all can go ahead with jasp because it is very this is in top top list okay if you want to know more about jasp you can leave your comments in the comment box so i'll be that to help you out to learn about jasp thank you bye bye